staff nurse on duty in this community health clinic today. Good morning, nurse. Please be seated. Thank you, Annam. How can I address you? You can call me Lizzie. What brings you here today, Lizzie? See, nurse, I'm having ulcers in my mouth and they are in white color and it's appearing quite frequently now. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. Yes, nurse, and I'm really struggling with these ulcers. I completely understand that it must be very difficult for you, but in order to get a clear picture, I need to do two things. First, I am going to do history collection and then I need to exam you. Is that okay with you? Sure, nurse. Let's begin with history collection. When did you first notice the ulcer? I cannot remember the exact date. Oh, yes. Now I remember four months ago and I thought it as a random one. Okay, and how often are you getting this? Initially it was like once in a month, but for the last three weeks, it's more frequent and lasts for two to three days. And did you consult with anybody for this? No nurse, I did not. Perhaps did you notice any color change or smell for this ulcer? Not at all, it remains white in color without any smell. What about pain in the mouth? I do have pain on and off, but it's not bad and they are bearable. Okay, what about allergy and do you take any medication? No nurse, I am not allergic to anything and not on any medication so far. What about your habits? Do you smoke or drink? Yes nurse, I do smoke two to three cigarettes per day due to stress, but I do not drink. Thank you for giving me the information, I do appreciate that. With your permission can I examine your ulcers? Definitely nurse. Thank you for allowing me to exam you and based on my examination and history collection, I came to a conclusion that you have mucositis. Do you know what it is? No nurse, could you please explain to me about it and is there anything I must be worried about? I will explain it to you and it can be treatable and curable, so nothing to worry about. Mucositis is the inflammation and ulceration of the digestive tract lining. It usually affects the mouth. Now I understand. But what about the cause? Mucositis can be due to multiple reasons poor oral hygiene, chewing or smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol, sometimes due to medicine allergies, but in your case we can rule out allergy, another reason can be accidental biting or injuries from toothbrush, eating spicy food if you are not used to it and lastly, most of the cases due to chemo or radiation therapy. I do understand, but are they hereditary? Good question Lizzie. It can be genetic, but studies shown that it can be up to 40% from family history. All right, since I cleared that part, can I explain the treatment options? Certainly, nurse. First and foremost remedy is maintain good oral hygiene, use soft brush for brushing and do it gently. Try to keep mouth and lip moisturized always, use antiseptic gel and mouthwash, eat soft diet and drink plenty of water, rinse mouth with warm and salty water and use pain medications from over the counter if needed. And I think you will be able to do this. Without a doubt nurse, is there anything to avoid? Yes, you need to avoid eating hard, spicy or crunchy food, reduce sugar intake, and lastly in your case you need to try to quit smoking, and I do understand it's not easy, but you can engage in some other activities to relieve your stress and deviate your mind like listening to music, engaging with friends or going for a walk. And I strongly believe if you follow my instructions your healing will be fast. Indeed nurse, I will follow all your advices. In that case, do you have any other concerns? No nurse and thank you for all the information 